Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nokonic here, and today we're going to be doing some summoning for the Majin Vegeta card. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So, as right now, um, the last 15 minutes stats was the Majin Vegeta card. The one that is not featured is at a 0.152 rate. Super, super low, but it is higher than what it's been at. The average is 0.7, so it's doubled in the past 15 minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and start in and just do some summonings. I'm not going to do a lot on this banner as of right now. I'm going to wait till the future once they um, actually come out on the um, with the support unit banners. One, two, cool. No three. I mean, the cool thing is though, um, the, the, this is a double rates banner, so you have a higher chance of getting SSRs. So you could either do one or two things. You could either you know, max out the super attack of the older SSRs that are available, or you can go and sell them to Baba and you can get a lot of points for it. Okay, two, and rainbow. Can we get can we get Majin Vegeta? Can we get Majin Vegeta? Uh, well, I don't need those freezers anymore. Yeah, so um, I don't know if you all under know. Um, I've been doing the LR Freeze event. I finally got a second dupe to drop after, like, I think what the, whenever the event came out. Yesterday is the first thing I got to do to drop of him, and uh, I and I had like over 40 uh, strength freezes. First from strength freezes, waiting for this event. I got both in the super attack 20. So lucky, so lucky. But man, that grind for the strength medals was a pain in the ass. <laughs> Two, three, four, four pods, rainbow, super saiyan. Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Videl. I'm saving her for when the Valentine's banner comes out. Um, her, the 18. I don't really know what you could do for the Balmas. And Pan's just. About five pods, alright, cool. A little bit better. No rainbow, we got Super Saiyan. 1, 2, Oh, oh my god. Need that. I need to find out. Um, so there's a whole bunch of news that just came out in JP. I'm going to be releasing that today too. I'm probably going to release that one before I release this one. All right, let's go ahead and just do a group summon. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit. I'm doing single summon, summon. We'll get through the loading screen. You can pause me if you need to. All right, cool. Let's see what happens. Hercule on the right. That's never good. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, we're going to do three, two, one, zero, and That's what it's going to be. Like three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, release. One, two. Wish we could do the reversal now. <laughs> I get up to Super Saiyan 3. What we got here? Ooh. Oh, you SOB. I got excited for a second. I really excited for a second. Oh, man. All right. Well, you know what the cool thing is? Um, I, I've been, you know, the thing that really actually stinks is I started feeding up this dude's dupe path a while ago. To get him up to, um, you know, I got him up to Super Attack 10. Um, I got, I got uh, like three freaking uh, dupes of him because I wanted to open up his dupe hand, and I opened up a lot of different uh, with the or with all the orbs I fed into him. So that way, for the World Tournament, he would have been a lot stronger. And then as soon as I'm ready to reverse token him, Broly comes out. LR Broly comes out, and I'm like, are you kidding me? I never have to use it in that, all those orbs. You know, Bandai should have the system where you do like, you know, maybe 50 stones. Um, or something like the, along those lines, where you get to take all the orbs out of a character and uh, put them into it. You know, well, you get to use them for what you want to use them for. That would make life a little bit easier, nicer. And maybe it doesn't need to be stones. Maybe it'd be a special item that's really hard to grind, or you need to do something. Maybe it's something like you know, how many times you have to do dog on battlefield, and you get you do it a certain amount of times, so you get a special item. Red Super Saiyan 2. Ooh, baby. Warm. By the way, I'll, I'll leave a link down to the Laughing Man's page um, for the Gacha pull rates. For some reason, it is not showing up on his Gacha site at dokonstats.com forward slash gachas. I don't know why it's not there, uh, but it was posted up in the Reddit, so I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to the description below. Still going to use those. I need to. Uh, raise the super attack of my uh, <laughs> Super Saiyan tracksuit Gohans or my Super Saiyan Gohan adults. Hercule on the right, come on, baby, come on. 
You know what I'd also be cool with? I'd also be cool with uh, another LR Broly, though his rate is at 0 .03 right now. Go ahead and refresh that. We still have a pretty high rate, right? Higher rate for this uh, Broly. The average uh, SSR rate is 20%. It's weird, we only pulled one so far. You figure at 20% pull rate, it'd be a little bit higher. we are getting a little bit more. Look on the right. Rainbow. Two. With the amount of Majin Vegeta's I think I'm going to pull until I actually get this card, I kind of feel like I'm, uh, I'm going to have enough to get him to Super Attack 10 right off the bat. Or get on the right. At the same time, I don't ever think I'm going to use him. He's not ideal on a Heroes team. He's not like on a 120 Heroes team. He's not ideal because he's not a good linking partner on a Villains team in general. The only thing he was good for at one point was a world tournament, but then the LR Broly came around, and he kind of just took Majin Vegeta's place. So now he's just like placeholder, placeholder, and a cool card, uh, a cool card to have. Two pods. Okay, we got Super Saiyan at least. One, two. You no, know, I still have not seen the seven card, and I mean the seven pod animation as of yet. Weiss. Now that Weiss needs to get a token waking. They haven't done that on a JP yet, at least not to my knowledge. One pot. I will probably be doing another video when I watch this, uh, or just another set of summonings that I record on the video, when I, I, I see if this if his rate jumps up to over 1%, and then I'll definitely be doing a lot of pulls for him. Piccolo. Good, I need to get him. My other int one up to Super Attack 10, and I can complete my LR Piccolo at Super Attack 20, with he already has more Dupaz unlocked. Mm. Yeah, I believe I started feeding into him bottom left path first, just because... Increase up defense, that's what he's there for. He's a defender. Super Saiyan, well, come on, break my screen, baby. Come on. Ugh, Android team. She's not even useful because I maxed out her SSR version. Alright, guys, last one. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, five pods. No rainbow. No one's in Super Saiyan. Oh. Super Saiyan 1. Super Saiyan 2. Oh, I thought I was going to get Super Saiyan 3. Oh, garbage. Well, at least he's the Baba Shop fodder. God damn, that stinks, man. But, whatever, what can you do? You know, we didn't do it before. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, banner cards real quick. Uh, so we have the Kaioken Goku. Now, unfortunately... They did not bring back any of the events to Doken Awaken him. I was at the Hero Extermination Plan, uh, where you needed to get them to Doken Awaken them. That kind of stinks, you know? But it will probably, it'll be available again this coming weekend, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, but the, 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 this Kaioken Goku finally gets his Doken Awakening. Personally, I'm still not a fan of the Greatly Raises attack, you all are aware, but, you know, it does come in handy if you're going up against a longer battle. It's just how, how often do you go up against a longer battle where this actually starts to make an effect? But, you know, um, he's, it also comes down to what, how often you're going to actually have them on rotation. Um, the Super Saiyan Goku, Goku GT, I don't even think he has a Doken Awakening yet. Um, a Jupe has a Doken Awakening. I would not be upset with getting a few of him just to get him up to Super Attack 10. Um, and a couple of Dupes unlocked. Right now he sucks, but he comes fairly decent um, in the future. And again, I would probably never run him. Uh, Xeno Trunks, I mean, he's outdated now because of the LR Broly. Like I said, LR Broly took out the relevance of almost every single AoE unit. The only time it's going to be relevant is if you're grinding for the 20 time uh, multiplier in the world tournament where you just run against the, like the easiest level. I think it's like level the second or the third one um, in terms of order where you could get away with using every single AoE and it'll kill everyone on the field. Um, that Maj Vegeta, we already talked about him. Charles is a good one you don't awakens because he gives everyone uh, extra key. Um, I, I mean, I would it would be cool to get him up to Super Attack 10 just to have him there because he's a good stunner as well. If I want on a stun team, I'd like him to hit harder. Uh, but that's, no, that's it. That's, those are the featured units on the banner. And they're all at about a point, well, 1.7 rate. So, um, yeah, they're all at an average of 1.7 rate. Um, SSRs are at a 20% rate. Or, yeah, the average overall is 20.8% rate. And SRs are 80, the rest of that, 79.192. Uh, and the average for Majin Vegeta is 0 0.087. And the average for the LR Broly is 0 0.080.
But that's it, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Let me know if you guys pulled him. He's going to be paying the butt to pull. I, I'm not going to do too many on this banner just because we have Super Saiyan 4s around the corner. I want the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Um, if you haven't found out why, you will be finding out why a little bit later today because that's when I'm going to be dropping a video on the Super Saiyan 4 banners. Uh, all right, guys. I will catch you later, and you have a good